Hi, my name is Dominique Shimkevich and I'm a rising senior at St. Thomas Aquinas High School. I recently came back from the Washington University Pre-Med Institute. It was three weeks and it was at Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. Not Washington, D.C., not Washington, the state. Um, so there's not really a lot of videos about like summer school med things and if there is one it's not about this one so I thought I would make one because I would really have want would have wanted to watch it before I applied or before I um, went there just to like find out exactly what it is because on the website it's like a paragraph about the research one and a paragraph about the clinical one and you're just like well this sounds really cool but what am I gonna do um, so yeah, it's split up into two parts, research or clinical, and there's two sessions, June and July, and each session has a research and clinical one. Um, the sessions are three weeks long, and um, the July one ran from July 13th, I think that was a Sunday, to August 1st, which was a Friday. Um, you're there three weeks, you live in the dorms. Um, you meet a lot of people, there's 60 kids, and it's normally like 30 and 30. Um, this time clinical had a little bit more, and it wasn't completely 60, it was like 58 or something, but you know. Um, what else? Uh, the difference really, other than what they say on the website, uh, clinical is more like MD, and research is more like PhD, which is like, clinical you do more clinical things like you learn like what is an HNP and how to actually take one and what do physicians do and you also get to tour um, around the med school and the hospital which I think is one of the biggest hospitals in the United States or the biggest hospital in the United States um, the research kids on the other hand they don't go to the hospital or maybe they go like once or something um, they do a lot of research obviously in labs. I think they did something with bacteria or phages or and micropipetting. Um, I know at the end they had to do a project with meat which sounds kinda cool if you're into that kind of stuff. I know some people who had parents as physicians and already knew what a HP was and what exactly pharmacists and physical therapists and occupational therapists do. They were like, well, I already know most of this, or I don't really want to do any of this, so let's, like, try and do the research and get into that stuff. So it's really what you want to do. Um, what else? Um, so I'm going to run through a typical day now, because that's always nice to know. Um, classes start at 9, uh, so I I would wake up, at the first day I woke up at 7.30 because I wanted to be super early so you made sure you weren't late to class because that would have been super awkward and it's actually not that big of a campus but it is really pretty and so then you'd go by yourself or with your friends to the duck which is spelled D-U-C not D-U-C-K um, it stands for Danforth University Center that's where all the food is they give you a card which opens your room and the a house that you're staying at. I say house, but it's a uh, building. Um, and also has $100 per week for food, which you think you'd run out of, but it actually lasts a substantial amount. And if you do run out, they would, like, give you more money. But, yeah, then you get breakfast. There's coffee there. Don't worry. I was kind of scared, but it's okay. Um, then you get breakfast. You'd eat with your friends. And uh, then you'd walk over, which is really just like a five-minute walk, but the first day you don't really know where you're going. They have an app. It's like the Woostal app or something. And I mean, I downloaded it because they were like, oh, download it, download it. But I never actually used it because my friends knew how to work it better. Um, and then once you know where you're going, it's like you know where you're going. Then, so, okay, so you eat breakfast. You go to the class. Um... We had a class in like a lecture hall and people would come and talk to us. This was our schedule. This is what they gave us in the beginning. And uh, yeah, in the mornings they were just a bunch of um, lectures mostly. Um, like we had this, we had a 
lecture history of medicine, neuroscience, immune system, nutrition, biomedical ethics, um, zoology, um, yeah, and sometimes you would actually have readings to do, so yes, you do have homework, but it's not that much. Um, you'd have readings, and then in class, you would get to do, like, a small activity, which is just, like, answering questions about it. Um, um, cool things that we got to do in the morning that does not include lectures, um, are, we got to dissect, a uh, sheep heart and a cow eye, and that's everyone. In the morning, everyone's together, clinical and research. So all 60 kids in the lecture hall. Um, uh, we got to look at x-rays, and although it was kind of hard, um, some people knew a little bit more because they took like AP Bio. I have not yet. I will this year. Um, but, so yeah, it all evens out. If you're scared that you won't know anything, don't stress. I probably knew less going in, and I actually won at the end the science fair thing. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, you get to learn a lot, even, pe and if you think you're, you know, you know all this stuff, there's still things to learn. Um, what else? Okay, so, that was from 9 to 12, then, so sometimes, yeah, the lectures are like three hours, and they get a little long, so, then at 12, you have break for lunch, research kids have lunch from 12 to 1.30, clinical kids have lunch from 12 to 1 because at 1 clinical kids have to meet at a certain place to go to the metro with all the clinical kids and then take the metro to the med school so yeah only one, an hour to lunch which is <laughs> not a problem you have plenty of time um, so we'd go again to the duck eat and then upstairs in the duck is a place called the fun room where people would hang out play foosball it was super cool um, so I'm mostly going to focus on clinical now because I was in clinical. So after you'd go to med school, um, here is again the schedule if it's good enough quality for you to see. I don't know. Um, we had a med student come and pretty much he was there like every single day talking to us and explaining what we were going to do and whatever. Um, so some of the coolest things we did, there's this thing called clinical skills on our schedule, which is pretty much when you learn how to take um, and, and slash or write up an H&P, which is history and physical. Um, it was really cool. Then at the end of the second week, you actually record an H&P um, with like a fake patient and you come in, you take their history, you take their physical, basic physical. Um, not the full one. Yeah. You learn how to do the full one, but you don't do the actual full one. Um, we had a suturing clinic where they scalpeled chicken breast, and we learned how to sew it different ways. Um, and we also had, like, a knot tying contest. Special knot tying contest. A surgeon knot tying contest. Um, we also had tours, as I mentioned earlier a little bit of the occupational therapy place, the physical therapy place, the nursing place, the pharmacist place, um, and normally in each place you get to do a little bit or like a fun activity there. Like in pharmacy we made calamine motion and we got to take each other's blood pressure and that was kind of cool. It's like, hey, I'm going to stab you with my needle now. It didn't hurt, don't worry. <laughs> um, then towards the end, it was really cool because the last couple of days we get talks from a bunch of fields, um, pediatrics, anesthesiology, radiology, emergency medicine, psychiatry, urology, internal medicine. So you kind of sort of get to like explore a lot of fields. Um, for me personally, the trauma surgeon and the emergency medicine um, guy were the coolest because they were really funny. and. Um, what else, what was cool that we also got to do, um, one time after it ended, after our afternoon session ended a little bit early, um, we got the option to go back to the med school and actually look at, um, human organs, obviously from, like, a dead person, the person, it, they were, like, seven years old, but they were in form formaldehyde, so it was okay. A couple of people from the clinical, um, group was, like, 
oh, I can't take this, so those two people, like, went out or something, and the rest of us got to, like, put on gloves and touch it, and, um, it, I mean, uh, we got to see two pairs of human lungs, two hearts, um, two bad hearts with still wires from their, um, pacemaker, we got to see the liver, the stomach, small intestine, large intestine, um, probably some other stuff, um, yeah, it was really cool, um, what else? Um, oh, you don't really have that much homework, but um, in the beginning, it is kind of a little bit like a lot to think of because everything's due like at the end. So some procrastinators are like, oh, let's not do it till the week before. And I'm sitting here like, how do I time my time perfectly? Um, so that was a little bit overwhelming, but it's really not that bad. I think we had like five reading assignments. Um... What else? Uh, for the clinical kids, you have a personal statement due, which is pretty much like another common app. And at the end, the one of the supervisors picks the top three, and you get a little surprise. Um, then you also you have you, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. everyone has a disease presentation to do, like both groups, clinical and research, and I. It's split up based on organs, and I had to do the eye, did, I had to do an eye disease, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, everyone has to do a personal reflection towards the end of the second week. You start on it, like, what was the coolest thing so far, something, 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 whatever, whatever. And then at the end, they pick the best four, and that get into, that, they all go into a nice little booklet that gets distributed to a bunch of important people. And then there's a final project, which of course, again, clinical and research um, both have to do. Um, and the final project is like a science fair based project. However, it's not really a hypothesis conclusion kind of thing. It's just a bunch of research. So um, me and my partners, I met them on the first day, or actually the second day. Most people already had their partners. They were like doing it with their roommates. and. Um, yeah, I was just like, oh, let me just meet someone the second day. So I met these two Indian guys, and we did our project together, and we did on Tetralogy of Fallow, which is a complex congenital heart disease. Um, we did a lot of research, we had a lot of sources, um, we had like 40 sources, <laughs> we had like the most, yeah. Um, I also sculpted a clay heart, which one of my partners was completely against in the beginning, but in the end, he was like, yeah, it was pretty cool, and I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we ended up winning the first place. Um, uh, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, what else? Oh, you have classes Monday to Friday, um, again, morning lecture 9 to 12, and then afternoon lecture um, 1.30 to 4.30. Um, clinical kids, by the time you guys get back from the, um, uh, med school, it's normally, like, 5.15, almost. But that's still a lot of time. Eat dinner, chill, hang out, do a little bit of work. Um, weekends are completely free. Um, I know there are, I think, two sponsored trips, bowling and Six Flags. Six Flags was awesome. It was the first time I did a loop-to-loop -loop roller coaster. It was really cool. Anyway, um, then... You can always go anywhere, you just have to sign out, um, and then you have to sign back in by curfew. Curfew on normal days, I think if I'm not messing this up, is 11.30, and on weekends, which they include Friday and Saturday, um, is 12.30, and by then you have to be inside your dorm, and then 30 minutes after curfew, you have to be inside your actual room. Alright, so, other than that, you're completely free. Me and my friends, we went to the zoo. We wanted to go to Arch, but there wasn't enough time. We went to the Loop, which wa which is pretty much just a street, but um, it's called the Loop. Um, don't go to Illinois. <laughs> uh, it was my first time in Missouri, and I was like, oh, it's my first time, like, up north, kind of, except for New York City. And so, we were like, let's go to Illinois, and you end up going, if you go via metro, you end up going to a really shady place, so you should not go there. We learned that afterwards. Um, what else? Uh, Forest Park is actually the biggest park 
in the country. It's bigger than Central Park, and it has an art museum, a zoo, and the best zoo in the country. There we go again. Um, and that's, we went there. It's like 10 minute walk from campus. It's pretty cool. Um, some bad-ish things about the camp. Um, the food was good, but it's, um, there's only one place open during the summer, and after, like, three weeks, it, you know what's gonna be there, so it's not like, oh, what am I gonna get today? I wonder what's there. No, you pretty much know. Um, but, but there's, there's still a lot. Like, don't, don't worry. You can always buy your own food at Target if you want, but, um, it is quite a bit, it is quite expensive. However, there are scholarships available. I applied for a scholarship. I got one. Um, bring your computer. They say that it's optional, but everyone brings it, and I didn't. And I wish I should have. But you know, it's it's all gone now. It 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 ended well. But bring it. If you have one, bring it. And if you don't have one, you should consider buying one. <laughs> um, if possible, of course. Um, things to remember again. Apply early because I think it's like rolling admissions or something. I think it should start somewhere in like February, but I don't know. Check around November. It should be up. It should be up now even. And because you're living in a college dorm, they do supply you with like blankets and stuff like that. But it's not super cozy, so you might consider uh, bringing your own or your own pillow. Um, don't worry if you don't know a lot of things about the medical field. None of my parents are... Um, doctors um, and they were just like oh you should go into medicine so I was like okay maybe I like math I like science so why not and I did it and it was it was chill it was cool um, also um, you're gonna make a lot of friends I'm still talking to mine right now and it's really great so don't be shy and even if you are shy, don't worry, you'll find your group of friends, because I know a couple of people who were saying that they were shy, and I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a tremendous experience, and if you don't, if you are considering Wash U, you should definitely consider going to their summer program, because it's, nice it's a nice way to, like, be on campus and experience a college life. Um, some other schools have met programs but this one's the best definitely I don't know but yeah it was really fun and you should definitely consider going there because you won't regret it